Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have left here? Oh, Arkansas run the pen relays announced the men's and women's. So we'll go to the, go to, go to some college news here too. Um, so obviously Arkansas women, very balanced squad this year. Sprints, distance. They always have some good field event athletes too. So the women will be there and the Arkansas men will be there just adding to the long list of teams that have announced for the pen relays or will be announcing coming up soon. Remember that's at the end of April live on flow track where Gordon Mack himself will be there. Yeah. It's cool that Arkansas is coming back. Arkansas had a big tradition of coming to the pen relays throughout mm -hmm. the years. They ha they've won a lot of wheels. Um, they've had obviously great distance squads even and some great sprint squads. And the fact that both the yeah. men and women's teams are coming, it shows that the pen relays is back, right? There was a little bit of a lot. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we had the hiatus with COVID, and there was a little yeah. bit of time when some of the schools stopped coming up to pen relays. But the fact that bigger schools are starting to come back, it shows that, like, hey, pen relays is the place to be. It's a place to get a wheel. It's a place to kind of test your squad against other elite teams in the nation and not just your conference opponents, but teams from all yeah. over the country. So I'm excited to see what the Arkansas – Four by eight does for the DMRs, mm -hmm. four by miles, like four by fifteens. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, women's team right now fastest DMR indoors. Exactly. So, and they got they have a lot of, a lot of depth there as well too. So again, that's end of April. We get to outdoor season live on Flow Track. Other big NCAA.